Hello everyone, my name is Matt Sensorello and I'm the owner and managing partner here at Unica County. You can learn more about what we do by visiting us at u nicacountycom And while you're there, I recommend that you check out our free stuff page where you can read our blog and download some free guides. Also, if you're wondering what I'm drinking today, today's beverage of choice is a Superberry Kombucha. I have no idea what the Superberries are, but it tastes pretty good. And if you notice, my cup is bearing the hashtag Make Today Count. Uh, this is the slogan for my Best Friends Foundation, which is a close and personal not-for-profit that I'm a board member of. A link will be provided to a, for a form that you can fill out if you or someone you know has been impacted by cancer in their life. So let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. And today's topic is the top three restaurant trends for 2023 from an accounting point of view. As a restaurant owner, it is crucial for your success to stay ahead of the curve and continue to adapt to change. So the top three trends for 2023 that you need to be aware of are number one, increase your pricing. Number two, advance your tech. And number three, mis miscellaneous charges. So tip number one, increase your pricing. If you still haven't increased your pricing or you didn't increase it enough, please do so right now immediately. Inflation is slowing down, but it is still happening. Keep checking your purchasing, pricing, and competition to make sure that your pricing is keeping up and you don't let your margins slip away. If you need some inspiration on pricing, I did discuss several ideas on how to increase your restaurant pricing in 2023 in a recent blog and video, so please check it out. Trend number two, advance your tech. Are you still using QuickBooks? Here's a hot tip, update to zero. It is easier to use and has superior reporting capabilities to handle the needs of your restaurant that QuickBooks cannot handle. Let me repeat that. QuickBooks cannot handle your reporting needs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out our Zero vs. QuickBooks Online series of videos. Continuing with tech, are you still manually tracking your purchases and markups? We at Unique utilize margin edge with our restaurant clients to streamline their bookkeeping, cost analysis, pain vendors, and much more. With margin edge, you can also utilize inventory and recipe features so that you can see live costing data of your menu items and also track your inventory. It's not cheap, but it will save you a lot more than you pay for it. Continuing with tech, you should use a POS and a payroll platform like Gusto where you can integrate the two systems and streamline the processing of your payroll. If you have not watched our recent payroll process video, I highly recommend you give it a watch. Continuing with tech, make sure that your suite of tech tools can talk to one another. There's no point in having really fancy, cool tech tools to help you run your business if they don't also talk to each other to simplify and streamline your business processes and accounting. Disconnected tools will only end in disaster with manual entries, human errors, and then unreliable data. In recent tech news, Spot On just recently launched a pre-order system. This allows guests to order while they're waiting for the table. And then the kitchen gets the order immediately upon those guests being seated. If your restaurant is booked, imagine the extra profit you can make by pushing through faster turnover and more covers. And trend number three, which is a trend that has to end, it's miscellaneous charges. Some of the worst offenses I see are a fee for the customer paying with their credit card. And I usually see this at poorly run small businesses. Charges for employee benefits. Really? Miscellaneous service table charge. Really? Really? That's it. I've had it with miscellaneous charges. Miscellaneous charges at the end of a bill are not needed. And do you know why? That is what your markups are for. Your markup is supposed to cover your operating and overhead costs and thus provide you profit, not these random silly charges. If your markup is not achieving this, you got two issues. Either your operating and overhead costs are bloated, which is your fault, or more likely your markup is not high enough Hence, your pricing is not high enough. This stupid and lazy, and yes, stupid and lazy miscellaneous charge trend has to stop. Now, I know why it's happened. Owners see margins slipping away, and they see this as a better move to recapture lost profits than to increase their menu prices. So instead of being honest with their customer up front, restaurant owners are now showing up at the end of the meal and going, Surprise! Here's your bill. 
plus some extra stuff that we felt like charging you for. So when your customer is ordering food and drink, they are in essence engaging in a contract with you. Please give me this and I will pay you the price you quote on your menu. These extra charges are in essence a change to the original contract and they are not something the customer agreed to. It's a surprise, it pisses them off, and it pisses me off to even talk about it. Whether I want to pay $4 or $6 for a taco is my choice as a customer. But what I don't want to do is to get lulled into paying $4 for a taco and then paying for these stupid miscellaneous charges at the end of my bill because the restaurant is having trouble making profit. The most recent offense was a 3% employee health benefit charge that I got at a restaurant chain that is like one of eight restaurants that this controlling group owns. Do you honestly think that on my $100 bill for my family, that I would have noticed three measly dollars buried in the price of the food or drink that I paid for? No, absolutely not. But I as sure as heck noticed that $3 when it was a standalone charge and it made me furious and I will not be eating there again. All right, I'm gonna calm down. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. Guys, gals, owners, please, please stop adding these miscellaneous charges at the end of your customer's bill. Please just bury these costs that you're trying to recover into your food and beverage pricing. It's really not that hard. Again, as an example, a customer doesn't care if that steak entree is $26 versus $25, as long as it is justifiable and comparable to competition. Your customers will hardly notice the incremental price increase, but they will get angry and furious if you charge a fee that they just don't understand and isn't relevant to them. And by the way, a little tip for you, you actually have made more profit the way I'm recommending versus adding those charges at the end of the bill which is what you were trying to accomplish in the first place. Thanks for listening to the top three restaurant trends of 2023 by an accountant. If you appreciate our advice, please remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel for future content. Until then, remember, don't conform, stay unique.